Last Minute EP Chem Review, Chemical Equilibrium Edition. As we can see, it is when a reaction becomes balanced. We use equilibrium constants to measure the extent to which a reaction occurs. By following these formats, we can sub in values in order to solve for K. We can use the value for K to determine what the reaction favors. But what if the reaction is not at equilibrium? Then we use reaction quotients where Q can tell us our position relative to K. Lechlier's principle tells us how the reaction will respond to change. Imagine tipping the scale one way and the reaction trying to balance it out again by tipping the scale in the other direction. The reaction will shift in the forward or reverse direction if we change reactant product's concentration, pressure, a volume, and temperature. Follow for more.